and doing hello and welcome back to my NFL playoff prediction series. Last time we did wildcard weekend and today we'll be doing the division round. Before we get into that though, let's recap wildcard weekend. It was funny, I got all of my AFC predictions incorrect, but all my NFC predictions correct. So the Seahawks did beat the Eagles. Um, Carson Wentz went down in the first quarter and as an Eagles fan, they tried their best, Seattle won, and then the Vikings got the upset win against the Saints. I can't believe it happened. It was pretty incredible. For the AFC, the Titans did win, and the Patriots are out, which makes me really happy that the Patriots are done, and the Texans did win in overtime, a really close game. Um, if you guys want to get more of an in-depth breakdown, I did a video um, last Sunday after um, this Eagle Seahawks game where I recapped all four games. So if you guys want to check that out, um, that video is on my channel where I go a bit more in depth. Overall, it was a very entertaining wild card weekend. You know, two games went into overtime. A really, a lot of just good football games. So now we go to the divisional round where things go a bit more interesting. Starting with um, I'm going to basically go with the Saturday game. So the first game on that schedule is the Vikings at the Niners. For me, I think that the Vikings are a team that is getting hot at the right time. And that's very important for the playoffs. But for me, I just think the Niners are going to win. I think the home field advantage, I think they rest up. I think the Vikings will make it a close game. I just think that they have the defense pieces to stop Dalvin Cook in Minnesota. So I'll go, I, I think the Vikings score about 20 points. I say 49ers score 30. So 10-point win. And then the other side of the game, I think there's a good chance the Titans beat the Ravens, but I think Baltimore prevails. Um, I'm a Ravens fan, but the re reasons I'm skeptic about this game is just because of, you know, Derrick Henry and that Titans rushing game is really good. However, if the Ravens play like how they've been playing all um, season long, then they can easily win this game. It's just, can they do that? I do trust the coaching system and the players to get that done. I think this could be the upset, but I do think Baltimore will pull it out, and I think they will advance to the AFC Championship game. Going into Sunday's games, I'm super excited for this game. Texans versus Chiefs, Deshaun Watson versus Patrick Mahomes. That's going to be amazing to watch. Um, I think the Chiefs are going to win. I think the Texans are a pretty good team. I just think the Chiefs are one of the best teams. Their offense is really good. And yes, the Texans' defense is good at moments, but I just think the Chiefs' offense really difficult to stop. I think Kansas City wins a game that's going to be very high scoring. I'll go 45-38. Seattle against Green Bay. I'm going with my upset here as the Seahawks win it. For me, um, Russell Wilson has been playing really good. I think if you look at the top two quarterbacks this year, it's Lamar Jackson and Russell Wilson, and he is just playing amazing. For me, the Packers are a really good team. I think they won 13-3, but Aaron Rodgers, the past couple weeks, has looked not himself. And for me, he has also... Um, and I think that's going to be something the Seahawks can take advantage of. Aaron Jones has been really good for them, their running back, but I think the Seahawks have the pieces like Bobby Wagner and Jadavion Clowney to get it done. I think this game will be really close, but I think Seattle wins, which means if all this holds true, my AFC Championship game for the AFC Chiefs-Ravens, NFC Seahawks-Niners. This is going to be a really interesting weekend. I'm really excited. Let me guys know your thoughts down below, and I'll have the recap video up Sunday night. And until then, this has been Tim and Doing Love. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.